Well, no, you're not seeing things in July. Yes, the red kettles will be out. It's Christmas in July, and the Lima Salvation Army is hoping to you help out. Joining us today to tell us more, Paul Downing. He is, of course, operation manager. And thanks for joining us, Paul. Oh, thanks for having me. Okay, so we've been trying this in past years. It's Christmas in July. Why do you have the kettles out during the summertime? Well, well, basically, you know, a, a lot of uh, donations just drop off in the summertime. People are out exploring, you know, the country. They're out uh, having vacation, having fun. And so a lot of times donations drop off. Uh, so it's really important that uh, we meet the needs of the community. And, that, and the way we do that is, is by helping out. And so we need to uh, get out into the community and raise some funds. Yeah, because people don't realize you guys just don't work in at Christmas time. <laughs> you work year round doing things, right? We are year round. Yeah, our social service programs are open year round. They never stop. Um, uh, most of our, our youth programs, uh, they take a small break, but they're, they're usually on uh, full time. So uh, yeah, we're busy. We're always busy. All right. So where will we be seeing these red kettles in where we can drop the money in? Yeah, we will be at six locations. They're all the chief uh, locations and CUPE. Uh, so all those locations in Allen County will, will, will be there. And we'll be starting July the 11th, running through the 30th. And uh, we'll be out ringing a bell. And uh, you can volunteer if you'd love. We'd love to have you volunteer for us. Yeah, um, and, and that can be like groups, just individuals, whatever, right? Because you can yeah. ring for for you guys. And, and how long do you like people to ring for and things? We ask that people give us at least a two hour uh, time frame because uh, it just helps cut down the run time. So we're not, you know, running around and, and uh, wasting gas in, in this uh, economy that we're in right now. So, uh, you know, we ask that two hours would be great. Anything more than that would be wonderful. <laughs> Right, yeah. So about how many volunteers do you think you will need to cover this time period? Uh, it varies. I mean, we have some regular volunteers that you see out at, at our stores. Um, I, I have one member that, that gives me uh, like 40 hours wow. every every year. So uh, you'll see him almost every day. He's out at uh, the, the chief store on Cable Road. Uh -huh. um, there's you know, so another gentleman and his wife, they give me uh, quite a few days, uh, I think every Monday and Friday. So, uh, you know, there, there's people out there that can do more and, and actually do quite a bit. Yeah. Okay, so look at your calendars between July 11th and July 30th and then give you guys a call to uh, be able to volunteer. Now, we hope you donate during this time, but also you don't want to forget about donations at Christmas. Just because you see us out, see you guys out now, you still need to donate at Christmas time, right? Very true, very true. Yeah, this is just uh, like a supplemental thing to help us get through that, that summer slump, so to speak. And uh, yeah, it's just to keep continue providing the program that we do and, and help helping kids and families you know, throughout Allen County. Right, exactly. All right, you'll be seeing the kettles out in July. Thanks very much, Paul, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. All right, don't go away. Need Edition continues in a moment.